Hey. This is bleeding savage. All right. I feel so sick. <laughs> hey everyone. <laughs> our oceans provide us with so many benefits, as well as regulating our climate and our weather, providing us with food, oxygen, medicines, supporting diverse ecosystems and a range of marine life. Yay! It also provides opportunities for tourism and recreational activities. You said it. And it doesn't stop there. Our oceans contain huge amounts of energy. I can see that. Our ocean contains vast renewable energy potential. The movement of water in the world's oceans create a huge store of kinetic energy, or energy in motion. This energy could be harnessed to generate electricity to power houses, transport and industries. Ocean energy has the potential to provide substantial amounts of sustainable, renewable energy around the world. I feel so sick. Ocean energy refers to energy carried by the ocean, waves, tides, salinity and ocean temperature differences. Energy sources can be split into renewable energy and non-renewable energy. Non-renewable energy sources include things like oil, coal, peat and gas. These are called fossil fuels. Once we use them, they are gone, so they'll eventually run out. A lot of non-renewable energy is used to heat homes, power devices, create electricity and run cars and other transport. Burning fossil fuels though releases greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, which contributes to global warming and climate change, which we know is bad news for us, them, and all life on Earth. So it is extremely important to focus on using more and more renewable energy from renewable sources using renewable energy devices. Hmm. Renewable energy sources cannot be used up, so they won't run out, like wind, wave, or solar power. For example, solar power from the sun is renewable, as you won't use it up. It won't run out. Well, not for another 4.5 billion years anyway. Ooh, I better put that in the calendar! Renewable energy sources are better for the planet, and our oceans contain huge amounts of untapped renewable energy. Ocean energy technologies could cut out carbon dioxide emissions from power generation and help ensure a sustainable climate safe energy future. It can provide affordable, reliable electricity and energy. And ocean energy includes wave energy, tidal energy, salinity gradient energy, and ocean thermal energy. Wave energy captures the energy of the ocean waves and uses it to create electricity. Mm. Tidal energy harvests power between high and low tides, tidal currents, or streams. Salinity gradient energy arises from the different salt concentrations moving in different bodies of water. Mm. An ocean thermal energy conversion generates power from the temperature differences between warm surface seawater and cold seawater between 800 to 1000 meters depth. Let's look at some of the primary forms of ocean energy. Ireland has one of the best resources in Europe for harnessing offshore wind energy. Ireland's unique position at the edge of the Atlantic mm. offers us the opportunity to use the strength of the wind to create emission-free, clean, renewable energy. <laughs> wind energy is created due to the movement of air between an unevenly heated atmosphere and the irregular surface of the Earth. Oh. The force of the wind creates movement and can transfer energy to things in the environment. Let's discover this by making our own windmill. You will need some white or coloured paper like this, a ruler, a straw or pencil, mm -hmm. and then you will need a scissors and a drawing pen. All right then. Cut a square out of the coloured paper. Then find the centre point of your square. Once you found it, just mark it with your pencil. With the scissors, cut from the corner towards the center point, but don't go all the way, leave just a little bit. Cut from each of the four corners towards the center. You can make your windmill whatever size you like or whatever color you like too. You now have eight different points that we're going to bring in towards the center to make our windmill shape. Get your thumbtack and be very careful using these as they're very sharp. Take one of your points, push the thumbtack through the outside of the paper, then skip the next point, grab the next point, and do the same thing again. Skip the next point, grab the next point, and push your thumbtack through. Skip the next point, grab the next one. Once you have all your corners gathered together, push your thumbtack through that center point you marked with your pencil earlier. And you should have something that looks like this. Last step is to put a handle onto the windmill, push the thumbtack through the straw, and there you go! 
you can bring them outside if it's a windy day, or you can use your own natural breath. The force of the wind turns the blades around. <laughs> On wind farms, this turning is used to make electricity. A wind turbine produces electricity by using the kinetic energy or moving energy of wind to create motion. Enough wind will turn the blades powering a generator to produce electricity. Ireland has one of the best resources in Europe for harnessing offshore wind energy. The east coast has sufficiently shallow water depths to allow for fixed foundation turbines, while floating structures may be better off in the south, west and northwest coast. Mm. Plans for development of offshore wind farms in Ireland <laughs> could power 4.5 million homes a year, where that hopefully won't happen. <laughs> so let's take a closer look at one I've built. Oh, cool, okay. Here, the wind is generated by a hand-powered fan. The fan blades turn, pushing air towards the blades of my wind turbine. If the wind is strong enough, and I have my blades positioned correctly, they spin, which causes this magnet on the back to spin. The spinning magnet then generates an electric field in the loop of copper wire. Electricity can then flow down the wires, and we can measure the electricity here with this ammeter. This is just a simple example of an electric generator that creates electricity from wind energy. On a wind farm, the electricity produced is transferred through underground cables to a local power station to be sent out to homes and businesses. Ireland is an ideal location to develop offshore wind energy as the highest average wind speeds in Europe are found off our west coast. Wind energy is both renewable and sustainable and releases no pollution into the air or water. Keep watching to find out about other forms of ocean energy. Keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>